Welcome to Quality Management Information System. Right now, we will see how we can archive an NCR. You have to scroll down to Quality Control. From there, you have to go click on the non conformance reports and you have to go to the archive NCR. Please note this archive feature is available for those type of NCRs which were raised and closed manually. Uh, the, on the paper based forms, those were not registered in QMIS. Or this feature is sometimes available with the, master, uh, with the uh, power users where they can edit or modify the NCRs, those are already closed. So, this is just an archiving feature. Uh, you can see, uh, just like the raise NCR form, this is similar form. You have to click on the archive NCR and you will land over here, select your project. You can select uh, NCR type NCR number over there. You can uh, go for the uh, select. You can select uh, already existing the NCR number. If this is repetition of any NCR, you have to define the source type. You have to select the type. There are four major types listed over here. You have to select the one which is matching as per your requirement. Type the title or subject of the NCR. You can give description over here. You can select uh, discipline, this NCR belongs to which discipline. You can select activity, relevant activity from there. If root cause is already uh, investigated, mentioned, you can type root cause over here. You can select the reasons uh, for raising NCR. There are certain reasons already listed. If it is not matching your requirement, you can click on other miscellaneous reasons. Type over there, then you can type the actual reason here some text whatever you want you have to select wbs this is a must requirement all the wbs assigned to you will come over here you can if you can start typing and you can see if the relevant wbs is available or not you can search by wbs number or uh, wbs title as well just like i am searching for a uber office yeah here it is you must have to select any one vendor if this NCR is a product based and the contractor or subcontractor, if this is uh, related to any subcom, those NCRs that directly belong to your organization, just like Alphanar, you can select Alphanar area team or you can select whatever is the subcom over there and vendor similarly. Then there is an NCR address C department, just like this is related to the purchase, procurement, uh, testing and commissioning department, safety department, whatsoever you can type for there. Name of the person who is responsible for uh, closure of the, for rectification of this NCR. Raised by, you can select your name or the uh, departmental level user is our power users, they have facility, they can select name of the other person assigned to that project. Please note only those names will appear over here. Those actually belong to this project. Those have access to this project. You can select the issue date from here. Corrective action. You can type over here. This action was agreed by who? The person should have access to the project. So all the persons having access to this project, you can see is from here. Target closing date. You can type uh, follow up results. If this NCR is already rectified, then you can type the uh, follow up results over here. This follow up was done by whom? You can select the name of the person. If you are not a power user, you will see just your name over here. Or the name of the persons who have access to this post. Follow up date, you can type over there. You can also mention quality cost associated with this NCR. Uh, there are three types of cost material cost, labor cost, and uh, miscellaneous cost. So you can type in the currency of your project just like 100, 200 words, so it will make the sum of everything. If this NCR is already closed or rectified, you can select status accordingly. Here you have the freedom, even you can just select the closed NCR. Then you have to type the remarks, notes. If there are any, then this is a close up done by whom you can select and the update. You can proceed you will, when you will click on the add new it will create an ncr in the system one thing to mention over here this is the new ncr that you are going to archive after clicking on add new button it will give you a box to attach, upload the attachment as well but 
in certain cases the special access is granted to the persons to rectify already raised ncrs to rectify those ncrs you have to click on the ncr log here you will see this book button this is the archive ncr button when you will click on any ncr whether it is closed or rectified you will be able to modify its information just i click one now see all the information is coming over there status cost and everything see this is already closed and now you are able to see attachments over there so you can upload attachment over here and you can also update status from there even you can take print out for the power users they will be able to click on the delete button to delete this ncr the main things that you should notice that there should be an assigned WBS and WBS should be assigned over here and the vendors, the most important thing vendor and the contractor should be selected from there. After selecting all this, you can click on the update status. It will save uh, your NCR as is. If you want to copy this NCR and create another one of the similar kind, you can click on the add new button. It will duplicate the NCR then you will be able to modify the things whatsoever. so please note during archiving there is no workflow integration no workflow will be generated this is only just archive to keep the system intact thank you very much